everybody. How's it going? Stout Man coming back at you once again. And today I'm here to talk to you about some stuff that I got from Best Buy. Yep. These are the last few things that I got from Best Buy by ordering, ordering them online. I wanted to make sure that I got them and that I didn't show up to the store and they were just gone on Black Friday. So I ordered them online and they took a little bit longer. And then they had their Cyber Monday sale, and I took part in some of the stuff that they had for their Cyber Monday sale as well. So, yeah. Uh, in fact, I think I will save the Cyber Monday stuff to last. I have it sitting on top. I don't know why. But I do want to show you, like, the stuff that I got as part of the uh, Black Friday sale first. So, yeah. This is all... Wow, I got a lot more stuff on, like, Cyber Monday than I thought I did. But, anyways, let's just start with the Black Friday stuff, all right? Let's just get the Black Friday stuff out of the way, because that's what this is about. This is a part of my Black Friday haul series, so gotta got to talk about some stuff I got for Black Friday, even though, yes, it was Black Friday stuff that I ordered online, so it took a while to actually get here. So that's the downfall. That's the downfall of buying things online for Black Friday. But regardless, I managed to get my hands on Warcraft here for $7. I heard a lot of good things about this movie. A lot of people hated it. A lot of people in the States especially hated it. But if you actually look at the numbers for this movie, like a lot of people think, oh, this movie bombed. This movie tanked. It tanked in the U.S. domestic market. But if you look at the global market, it made buku bucks. We're talking a 400 plus million dollar earner right here. No joke. So you're thinking to yourself, oh, this was a bomb. Nobody liked this movie. It was a piece of crap. It's No, no, it did very fucking well overseas. And as I understand it, it's a pretty good movie. And I'm not too surprised because... It was done by Duncan Jones. Duncan Jones directed this movie. And, of course, he also said that... He, he didn't say it outright, but he was basically saying that this movie uh, was an experience for him that kind of showed him what Hollywood was really like, like working in the Hollywood system is really like. And it kind of, in a sort of way, seems to have turned him off or soured him on the experience at least a tad bit. I don't want to speak for the guy. But I'm just saying, from what I heard and what I read and in some interviews with, with him, uh, it seemed like he wasn't too happy with his experience. He was talking about have to, having to fight tooth and nail for something that there shouldn't have even been a problem with putting in the movie because it was like an integral part of the story. And yet he was still having to fight tooth and nail just to have that in the movie. I mean, that uh, that's the kind of experience... The heavy-handedness of uh, studio execs and producers and the Hollywood system, people who think they know how things should go and they're just fucking things up left and right. I mean, I have no doubt there will be some issues with this movie, but I also have no doubt that Duncan Jones is a fantastic visionary filmmaker and he he did something good with this movie. If... If the global audience has found something to love about this movie, then I am sure I will have no fucking problem finding something to love about this movie. It did look kind of cliche. It did look like something I've seen a million fucking times before. It did look like the Moses prophecy over, over and over and over again, again and again and again. But you know what? Okay, that story has held up over centuries for a reason... Because it's a fucking good one. It's an interesting story. So, yeah, I would like to see what he did with that and what he did with the Warcraft movie here in total. So for seven bucks, yeah, that's a pretty good price for a movie you just want to check out. And it's a brand new movie. It just came out this year, you know. Honestly, I was hoping that the Target exclusive version of this would go down on in price, go on sale. And I thought it was going to be $10 at Target, but uh, apparently the only version that was $10 at Target was this one. So yeah, the exclusive is cool because it has these art cards that you can plop in to have, make the cover ha 
be any kind of, of cover that you want out of like seven different art cards. So you can have this guy as the art card, as the front of the cover, or this guy as the front of the cover, or her as the front of the cover. It, it's up to you, basically, who you want on the front of the cover of the artwork for the special Target limited edition version, which I thought was pretty damn cool, a pretty nifty idea for packaging, and it looked really nice. But ultimately, since they didn't put it on sale, I'm like, I don't want to pay $20 for that. They're not putting it on any deep discount. They're not even putting it at like $5 off or anything like that, so fuck it. I'm just going to get this one for 7 bucks, just to check it out and see if it's any good, see if I like it or not, and yeah, nice to have it with the slipcover. Next up, I picked up the Purge Election Year, because I've got the Purge and the Purge, what is it, Anarchy? Hold on, let me, let me turn around here after rubbing my eye and see for myself. Yep, the Purge Anarchy, that's what it's called. It's right there. I know I need to... I need to put things back on my shelf. But uh, there's the Purge, and there's the Purge Anarchy. You probably can't tell, but they're there. And here is the Purge Election Year, which came out just this year. And it was only $7, and it had the slipcover. This is a really nice slipcover. It's one of those kind of, you know... It's not like the Warcraft slipcover, where... I mean, you can tell just by the sound. Not making a lot of sound there, is it? No, no. This one is one of those nice, like, paper sleeves. And it's still got the embossed artwork there, or the embossed text, I should say. So, yeah, I really like this slipcover, and I really can't wait to check this out. I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters, but I, it did very well in theaters. And a lot of people were saying it's a fantastic movie, so, yeah, might as well. And given how ridiculous this election year actually was, a movie called The Purge Election Year, probably the perfect movie to watch. I'm, I bet you anything what I'm going to do is like watch this at the end of the year, like maybe even on New Year's Eve or something like that, just to cap off this wonderful year with a, with a bang. So... Yeah, I'm expecting something at least somewhat entertaining out of this. And seven bucks, not a bad deal at all. Speaking of titles that I got for seven bucks, how about Crimson Peak? This one was, I bought, yeah, it was six ninety six or something like that. No, did I get this on, I think I might have gotten this on Amazon. But wherever I got it, it was $7. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I've been wanting to check this out for quite some time. It looks like a really cool, uh, maybe not like haunted house movie, but it looks like a, you know, interesting movie. Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro is a mastermind. He is a magnificent bastard. So I can't wait to check this one out. It looks like a good spooky horror-ish movie. So, yeah. Hopefully, it is actually as good as I'm hoping that it will be. And uh, I had a reason to pick it up for $7. I'm hoping that it's as good as I'm thinking it will be. I haven't really heard much about this movie, though. I haven't heard anybody really talking about it, saying bad things or good things. So, I don't know. If you have seen it, give me your thoughts in the comments. And I'll take your advice. But since I already have it, I'll be watching it myself. <laughs> And then this next one is the last one that I got for the Black Friday sales from Best Buy. But I also got a bunch of stuff for Cyber Monday deals that they had, or the Cyber Weekend deals, I should say. So, yeah, there's an interesting story behind this, and I will get into it immediately. True Detective Season 2 on Blu-ray for $10. I couldn't say no for $10. That's the price I paid for the first season last year. I got the first season here last year on Blu-ray in the nice box, nice artwork, because I'd heard so many freaking good things about this show. Have not actually seen it since I bought it. I bought it last year for 10 bucks, sight unseen, just thinking, you know what, I'm going to give this a chance because it looks like a really fucking good show. And, yeah, 
had every intention of watching it within the next year and didn't get around to it. But it was only $10, so I'm, I'm sure it's still a pretty good deal. It's still, it was $10 this year as well. I could have waited, but whatever. This one was also, the se second season here was also $10. So I figured, you know what, for $20 to get both the first and second season of True Detective on Blu-ray, to have both of them, yeah, I mean, if I like this, chances are I'm going to want to check out this. So, 10 bucks, yeah, I had to do it because I had a feeling. I had a funny feeling. I'm going to really like that one. I'm probably going to want to go right into this one, and now I can, and it only cost me 10 bucks. So, yeah, 10 bucks for an entire season. I understand these are kind of short seasons, but don't really care. If it's good, then I won't give a shit, you know? And next, I will get into... The titles that I picked up from Best Buy during the Cyber Monday, Cyber Weekend deals that they had. I think what I'll do... Yeah, I'm going to split this up into... Yeah, there we go. I got this. I got this. Okay. So, first off, I picked up for $4, I Am Santa Claus. This is a fantastic documentary starring, of course, Mick Foley. He actually does play Santa Claus in this. And it's a documentary all about the fat guys, the fat jelly guys in the red suits who play Santa Claus, whether at malls or for special events or whatever the case may be. The guys who actually dress up as Santa Claus and play Santa Claus. And funny thing is, I actually uh, dated a girl who's, I think it was her stepfather? It was either her father, it was a stepfather. Her stepfather was actually a Santa Claus, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, the real-life story is these guys come from all over the place. They have all different kinds of lifestyles, all different kinds of uh, reasons for doing what they do. And it's just, it's not only heartwarming in a lot of ways, but it's also just kind of humorous, and it's nice to see all these different people from all these different walks of life getting something different out of their experiences and it's also nice to just see the experience of like well how do they make their money how does this all work you know that and all that stuff so yeah i really love this documentary you can actually watch this right now on netflix i believe but i wanted to get it on blu-ray that's how much i loved it i wanted to get it on blu-ray and i can see myself watching this at least once every two years for the holidays it's a damn good movie and i i don't know why i wouldn't watch it again several more times and for four bucks very good deal very happy to have this as a part of my holiday movie collection how about that a holiday documentary <laughs> it works for me it works for me next up i picked up and i think a lot of people got this as well Hannibal season three for six ninety nine seven bucks for the last the final sadly season of Hannibal. I haven't actually seen this yet, but I did watch through Hannibal seasons one and two, which I got on Blu-ray. I got Hannibal season one for five dollars, and then I loved the first season so much that I had to see the second season. But the second season wasn't available on any. It wasn't unavailable on. Netflix or Amazon at the time that I wanted to watch it. So I said, fuck it, I'm going to get the Blu-ray. Because at the time, the Blu-ray for that season was, for the second season, was like 15 bucks or something like that. And back then, a couple of years ago, we're talking like three years ago or something like that. That was actually a really good deal for a season set on Blu-ray. It still kind of is, if you think about it, like an entire season of a show on Blu-ray for $15 is a pretty damn good deal. So, yeah, I, I didn't mind paying that, but I also don't mind paying $7 to get the last season here, and now I have all three. They also had a deal, I think it might even still be active on Amazon, where they had the complete series set for $22 on Blu-ray, which, fuck. If you haven't seen this series yet, if you haven't picked any of the season sets up yet... Do yourself a favor and get that complete series set because this is just a fantastic series. One of the best written series I have 
ever seen on put on television, I should say. I didn't actually watch it on television. I watched it on Blu-ray and whatnot. So, yeah, um, very happy to have this. Can't wait to see how it continues after the end of the second season. Because if you know anything about the show, it's the end of the second season. It's like, how does it go on from here? You know, which is, I guess, one of the reasons why I was okay with the fact that it ended after the third season. Because it kind of felt like, does it even need a third season? The second, the end of the second season is so fucking good and such a, you know, this could be the final thing here that I would, would have been okay with it ending there. I didn't want it to, but I would have been okay if it had. So, uh, depending on where they went with the third season here, I will probably, I will either be very... Um, happy to have the third season or sad that it ended here I, I don't know what my reaction is going to be but I do know that to get the entire season for seven bucks is a pretty damn good deal and I'm happy to have it so I can finally finish this up and check out some more Mads Mickelson. gotta love Mads I'm probably mispronouncing his name entirely but whatever the case may be let's get on with it these are Buy one, get one deals. The rest of this is buy one, get one deal. So it was literally you buy one, you get one free. And these two titles I'm about to show you, the first two titles were $5.99 each. So bought one for $5.99, got the other one for free. Technically paid $3 per title. So before you judge me on one of them, understand $3 per title. All right. Fury. I have not seen this movie yet, but I've heard a lot of good things. And this is one that, although it dropped to like seven, and at times you can get it for like six fifty or something like that, you know, it dropped to a reasonable price. It would not go any further than that. The price would not drop any further than that. And for a movie I didn't know much about and hadn't heard necessarily great things about, but had heard that it was pretty good. I wasn't necessarily willing to take that much of a chance on it and I wanted to get it for a little bit of a lower price and well three dollars is a lot lower than I was expecting I would have been happy to pay five bucks for this but three bucks damn good deal I'm expecting this to be very good for a three dollar price tag damn I mean I've heard a lot like I said I've heard a lot of great things about this movie I haven't heard that it's the best thing ever but I've heard that it's Pretty damn good and definitely worth three bucks. That being said, the next title, you're going to look at me and be like, that was not worth three bucks. Well, I beg to differ, but let me just get it out of the way. I got pixels. I got pixels. Everyone hates me. Everyone's unsubscribing right now. I get it. I get it. But here's the thing, all right? It's not a great movie, but it's a fun movie. That's what got me about it. Like, there are aspects to it that made me go, but why? You know, there's so many moments in this movie just from the fact that they only show, like, the first two levels of Snake or something like that, and then, or not Snake, it was Centipede. It only showed, like, the first two levels of Centipede, and then it was supposedly beaten after the first two levels. I'm just like, but, but there are way more levels than that. That doesn't fit within the context of the story that we're being told. That's a plot hole. That's like a gigantic in plot hole in the sky that we're literally seeing on screen. Like, what? There were problems. There were problems with this movie. But it was dumb, stupid fun, and it was done fairly well. It was... I, I enjoyed it to the point where I laughed a few times and I could see myself watching it again because, like like I've said in the past, I do buy movies from time to time just for actors and their performances. Didn't really care too much about Adam Sandler's performance or Kevin James' performance, but that little guy right there, oh, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with the Dinklage right there. Dinklage is just amazing in everything he does, and he was really good in this as well. So, well, he was a lot of fun to watch, I should say, in this as well. So, yeah, very happy about that. 
could not buy Kevin James as what was the president or something. I could not buy that, but I didn't mind it either because it, like that at the very beginning, the moment you see that, you know, I can't take anything I'm seeing in this movie seriously. And the second you know that you can't take it seriously, you need to turn your brain off. That's the moment where you're like, okay, I can do this now. And if you're not doing this now, then your hatred for the movie is kind of your own fault. It's not that bad. I, I would give it like a 6 out of 10. It's not great, but I would say that for 3 bucks, it's a pretty damn good deal. It's, it's, a, it's a decent movie that I'll probably watch again at least once or twice. And once or twice, 3 bucks, that's, that's not bad. I, I figured why the hell not. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add this to my collection. Hate me if you will, but again, it was only $3. Next up, I found the next two titles were $9.99 each. So buy one, get one free, $9.99 each. And in total, in total, I got five movies here for $10. So... $2 a piece, basically. $2 for each movie. And the first pack of movies here I got for $5 total here was the Men in Black Trilogy. Damn good deal. Are you kidding me? Um, I'm not a huge fan of the second one, but I do think it's pretty good. It's, it's not horrible, but it's okay. The first one is a goddamn classic. You need to have it in your collection. I already do have it in my collection, but figured what the hell. Even if I'm just getting this for the second and third films, to get both Men in Black 2 and 3 for 5 bucks is still a pretty damn good deal. Didn't mind that. I haven't seen the third movie yet, but yeah, now I can. Now that I have it, and I only paid 5 bucks for it. So yeah, another nice thing is that it comes in one of these cases. So... I like these cases a lot better than the ones where you they stack the discs. Even if it's Blu-ray, I just... Nobody likes stacked discs. Nobody does. That being said, something to note here if you didn't already. There's the artwork for the first disc. There's the artwork for the second disc. Oh, those have something in common. And then you get to the third disc. What? That has nothing to do with either of these artwork style-wise. But, oh well, whatever. You're paying five bucks for three movies on Blu-ray, and they're pretty entertaining movies, so not a bad deal. Speaking of which, another one that I picked up here for five dollars, since it was ten dollars, buy one, get one free, was the Bad Boys Collection. Bad Boys 1 and 2. I don't really remember much about Bad Boys 2, but I know that Bad Boys 1 was somewhat fun, and I figured... Two fifty for each Bad Boys movie. Yeah, why not? That's that's a decent enough price. This particular collection went down to six ninety nine on Amazon recently, over the Cyber Monday deal. I don't know if it was Black Friday or Cyber Weekend. I don't remember when exactly it was, but yeah, it went down to six ninety nine on Amazon. I think it was a price match of another store, but whatever the case may be, it was six ninety nine. I got it for five, technically. Five bucks for two movies that are at least somewhat enjoyable. Yes, they're not great because they're Michael Bay movies, but a lot like with Pixels, it's like, well, it's enjoyable. It's fun to watch every now and then. I don't mind picking up uh, a movie for 250 that I think I might watch once or twice again in my entire life because it's like, well, at least I have it when I want to watch it. You know what I mean? That's the point I'm getting to in my collection. I've got so many movies now that it's just like, well, i got to fill in all the other little holes of things that I might not love, but I do like enough that I might want to watch them again at some point in the next three or four years or maybe even five years. So to get them for a decent price, two fifty dollars is not a bad deal. So, yeah. In total, for five movies here... I paid $10. Not a bad deal there. And then these two movies, $3 each. This was $6.99. 
This was $4. True Detective, that's season one. This is season two. This was $10. And then each of these were $7. So, yeah, pretty damn good deals, if I do say so myself. Best Buy, I mean, I believe it was Strumdog here on the YouTubes left a comment saying that they had the best deals this year, and I have to agree. They had some really freaking good deals. I would say half and half for me. I did half of my shopping in-store on Black Friday and half of it online. But yes, I got a lot of stuff from Best Buy this year, as you can no doubt tell by this point. And I was very happy with their sales. Very, very good sales. Very happy to have a lot of these movies. I can't wait to check out The Purge. I can't wait to check out Crimson Peak and Warcraft. Can't wait to check out Hannibal Season 3 and Fury and the other movies. Well, you know, I'll get around to them at some point. You know, the, 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 that kind of movie that's like, well, yeah, I'm going to get around to that. And True Detective Season 2, once I finish this, I have no doubt I'm going to want to just jump right into that one. And now I can. So, cool beans! That does it. That's it. That is it for Best Buy this year for me. That's... That does it. Unless they come up with another sale sometime in the next two weeks or three weeks or whatever. I'm probably not going to be getting anything else from them this year. But who knows? Who knows? I haven't seen anything yet that would make me want to. But we will see. Next week. This week I'm going to have another video. But it's going to be a video that's that I shot like a couple of weeks ago. And it's a video about pickups that I made before Black Friday, so hopefully you don't mind that, but, you know, I want to share all my pickups with you guys. I want to show you guys, with you guys, everything that I got, you know. I like this show-and-tell aspect of collecting and stuff like that, and a lot of you seem to like it too, so, bam! Why the hell not? But yes, it is a bit old. It's not old, old, but it's a couple of weeks old, and I hope you don't hate me for that, but it's only one video this week, and then in the coming weeks there are a couple more, two more after that one that will be old content, technically old, old-ish, about a month at that point. But next week I hope to have my order from, at least from Barnes & Noble, and then I hope to have, it would be great if I could get the order from overseas, but it's from overseas, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. And I also have plans to go again to Half Price Books because they're having another sale. We'll see what happens next week, but I know I will have the Barnes & Noble's order by then. I mean, they shipped all of the items out, so they should be arriving at my doorstep before the end of next week. So, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. But everything else is up in the air, except for half price books i'm probably gonna go there i'm gonna probably find some stuff and i'm probably gonna talk about it in a video so yeah you can expect that next week and yeah that'll uh i guess that'll do it for me thanks for watching you guys oh by the way by the way i forgot to mention this but you know i'm a writer for teenage mutant ninja Turtles they are affiliated with the tmnt box and currently they have a deal going where if you order a TMNT box before December 14th, you can get guaranteed delivery by Christmas. I think it is. It's like if you order before the 14th, you get guaranteed delivery by Christmas. So if you're looking for something for a TMNT fan in, in your family, then there you go. I think there's also a discount of some sort on it. So yeah, bam. TMT fans, rejoice. There you go. You got yourself a nice little Christmas present. Or something that you can give as a Christmas present. Whatever. It's just a nifty little thing. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Peace.